Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God, you are most welcome. You are most welcome. So another brother's Sunday service. You're welcome to God the Christ Ministry International. You're welcome. And God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to the name of the Most High God for giving us an opportunity and a privilege to witness the first Sunday in the month of May. And I'm so sure that you're happy to see the first Sunday and be in the presence of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Brethren, it is not in news that so many things happen all around us, but the Lord that has been watching over us, he has been keeping us, he has been keeping you, he has been blessing you, protecting and providing for you. It's worth saying thank you to that God. And this morning, we're going to say thank you to him once again. He has been our father, he continues to be our father. The one that has kept us all this far, from the beginning of this year, 2023. So many things has happened, bad and good. But the Lord that has been so merciful, has been, he has been so gracious unto us, and he has been protecting us. Let's just say thank you to him. Let's appreciate him. Let's give him all the glory. Let's give him all the honor. Let's say thank you to him for his goodness and for his mercy over us, over all our brethren, our families, over our husband, our wives. Let's say thank you to him. Let's appreciate him. Let's say thank you for everything he has done in our lives. Brethren, I know if you count your blessings one after the other, it's really surprising what the Lord has done. For the gift of life, for the gift of our bread, for his mercy, for his goodness. Let's say thank you to him for his goodness over us. We bless your holy name, O God. We give you all the praise for the peace of, of, of mind. We bless your holy name, O God. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. We thank you over Fire of Christ Mission International. We thank you over all the brethren, all the members. We thank you over the congregation. We thank you all for all the ministers. We thank you for your house, O God. Father, we thank you, Father. We thank you for churches all around the world. We thank you, O God, for you hearing all our prayers and answer all our petitions. Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Almighty, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all adoration. Praise be to your holy name. Father, we declare your majesty this morning. I will say thank you. We magnify your holy name. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Maybe if you think of one person you saw in January, I cannot see that person again. Or the person that you heard, the news that you heard, good in January and the same news has been bad this time around. Just to thank you for everything. Appreciate him from the depths of your heart. Have a quality thanksgiving offering to him and say thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for my children, for my husband. Thank you for my work. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the peace of mind. Thank you for protection. Thank you for your cancer. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for, we in the midst of confusion that you always come calling. Father, we thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that when we call on you, we have the assurance that we are talking to our Father. And you hear us. Father, we thank you, oh God. Father, we thank you for the confidence that we still have in you. That we don't say, no, we are not following that God anymore. We thank you for keeping us. Father, we thank you for watching over us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, oh God. Blessed be your holy name, oh God. Blessed be your holy name, oh God. The psalmist says in the book of Psalm 148, verse 1, Two, three. It says, Praise ye, Lord. Praise ye, Lord, from the heaven. Praise him in the height. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye him, all his hosts. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. And the first verse says, Praise him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that are ye above heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. If we continue, we need to praise God. And this morning, let's just lift the hands unto the King of Kings as we wave and praise him from the depths of our hearts. We worship him and we reference him. Oh Lord, Lord, we bless your holy name. Oh Lord, we bless your holy name. Oh Lord, we bless your holy name. Oh Lord, we bless your holy name. In the name of Jesus. 
All the glory must be to our Lord, to our Lord, for he is worthy of our praise, worthy of our praise. No man on earth should give glory to himself. All the glory must be to the Lord. All the glory must be, oh, all the glory must be to the Lord, to the Lord. For he is worthy of our praise, worthy of our praise. No man on earth should give glory to himself. All the glory must be to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's go before our maker. It's the one that created us. And let's ask him to forgive us. To cleanse us from all our righteousness. The Bible says for all our sin and comes out of the glory of God. And he also said that if you come boldly to the throne of grace, that you obtain mercy in time like this, in this hour. Let's ask him, Lord, as you have come before you this morning, whatsoever that we hold against us, Father, Lord, have mercy and forgive us. Have mercy and cleanse us. Have mercy and deliver us. In the mighty name of Jesus, have mercy, O God, our Redeemer, our God, our Father, our strength. Have mercy, O God. Have mercy, O God. Have mercy, O God. Have mercy, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Have mercy. Our Redeemer, have mercy. Our rock, have mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Have mercy, O God, in the name of Jesus. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. This is our intercession. It's time to pray for Father Christ in this international. It's time to pray for the church of God. We thank God for where we started. We thank God for where we are. And we are open to our future. Really, let's just say thank you for everything you have done for us. We are going to declare again like this. Mercy of the most high God. Mercy of the most high God. Overshadow Father Christ in international. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mercy of the most high God. Overshadow, Father Christ, ministry international. Overshadow, overshadow. Let your mercy overshadow this ministry. Mercy of the most high God. Overshadow, Father Christ, ministry international. Overshadow, Father Christ, ministry international. Mercy of God. Overshadow, 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 Father Christ, ministry international. In the mighty name of let your mercy overshadow, Father Christ, ministry international. In the name of Jesus. Mercy of the most high God. Overshadow, overshadow. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Holy Spirit of God, take perfect control. Take preeminence in the mighty name of Jesus. In this ministry, O oh Lord, take your place. Let your Holy Spirit take his place in the mighty name of Jesus. Take his place. Take your place. Holy Spirit of God, take preeminence in this ministry, over this ministry. Take perfect control in the mighty name of Jesus. Take preeminence, O Lord. Let your spirit take perfect control. Let your spirit take his place in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your Holy Spirit take perfect control. Let your Holy Spirit take his place. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Power of God, overshadow this ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your power from above overshadow the Christ ministry international in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, Ye shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Father, we declare and we desire your power more than ever before, more than ever before, in the mighty name of Jesus. Power of the living God overshadow this ministry, overshadow, overshadow, overshadow for the Christ ministry international. Overshadow this ministry. Let your power overshadow the power of Christ ministry international. In the mighty name of Jesus, power of God, overshadow this ministry. Overshadow this ministry. 
In Jesus' name, we are praying. Fire of revival and fire of Holy Ghost. Incubate Fire of Christ Ministry International. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of Holy Ghost. Fire of revival. Incubate this ministry. Incubate, incubate, incubate. Incubate Fire of Christ Ministry International. Fire of Holy Ghost. Fire of revival. Incubate Fire of Christ Ministry International. Incubate. 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 Incubate Fire of Christ Ministry International. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of the revival. Fire of Holy Ghost. Incubate Fire of Christ Ministry International. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Agenda of God. For Father Christ Ministry International. Come to life. In the mighty name of Jesus. We come to reality. Manifest. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come to life. Come to life. Agenda of God. For this ministry. Come to life. 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 We declare. We call you to life. We call you to life. We call you to manifest. In the mighty name of Jesus, agenda of God for Father Christ Ministry International, come to life, come to life, come to life, come to life. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Agenda of darkness agenda and of the enemy Amen. against this ministry. Hear the word of the living God. Fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Fail. You shall not come to light. You shall not manifest. You shall not materialize. You shall not come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus, a channel of the wicked one, a channel of the enemies, a channel of the of darkness against Father Christ Ministry International. Fill in the mighty name of Jesus. Fill, 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 fill. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, a channel of darkness, a channel of the wicked ones, a channel of the enemies against this ministry. No, you shall not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Every evil voice speaking against this ministry be silenced by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Be silenced, be silenced, be silenced. You evil voice speaking against this ministry day and night. Yet the word of the living God be silenced. You shall not stand again. You shall not speak again in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. My Father and my God, as I have come to you this morning, remember my case and sort me out. In the mighty name of Jesus, remember my case and sort me out. Praise the Lord. Let's begin to thank the Lord. Let's say thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you again for an amazing time in your presence in this new month. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the month of January, month of February, March, April, and now the month of May. We thank you. We glorify your holy name. We give you all the glory and adoration. Blessed be your holy name. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We appreciate you. We say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are thanking. Eshe yi bi te bade, adu pa o jesu. Yi bi te mu walo, eshe yi bi te ti bere oluwa. Eshe yi bi te ba wache, adu pa o pristi. Yi bi te mu walo. Baba eshe, Jesu eshe, Fore te she funwa. Ba ye ti fe, funwa kolori, Awa yi yon logo. 
Baba eshe jesweshe ore teshe funwa. We are grateful. Oh Lord, we are grateful, Lord. We are grateful. Oh Lord, for all you have done for us. Hallelujah. We are grateful. Oh Lord, we are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord, mighty Jesus, we are grateful, oh Lord, for all you have done for us, hallelujah, we are grateful, oh Lord, thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We appreciate you. We glorify your holy name. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. For in Jesus' mighty name, we thank you. Beloved, let's go to our maker and ask for the forgiveness of all our sins. Father, forgive us of, of all our sins by your mercy. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we have come to you this morning. We ask for forgiveness of all sins. Forgive us, O Lord, all sins committed. The one we committed knowingly or knowingly, O Lord, forgive us. Forgive us all our sins and have mercy. Have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins. Forgive us all our sins. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lord, let me pray under open heaven in today's service. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, let me pray on, on the open heaven in today's service. Let me pray on the open heaven in today's service. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, let me pray on the open heaven in the name of Jesus. Let me pray on the open heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying. Mm -hmm. Territorial power, opposing the power of God in this environment. They are arrested and buried. In the name of Jesus, all territorial powers opposing the power of God in this environment this morning, be arrested and buried, be arrested and buried. In the name of Jesus, be arrested, be arrested and buried. In the name of Jesus, be arrested and buried. All territorial power opposing the power of God in this environment, be arrested and buried. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. Lord, arrest any power saying no to the yes of God in this environment. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, arrest any power that is saying no to the yes of God in this environment. In the name of Jesus, be arrested. Be arrested in the name of Jesus. Lord, arrest any power that is saying no to the yes of God in this environment. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. Let there be movement of your power and anointing in today's service. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray unto you this morning. Let there be movement of your power and anointing in today's service. In the name of Jesus, movement of your power and anointing in today's service. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, let there be movement of your power and anointing in today's service. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. Lord, let me be that person that will experience your divine encounter in today's service. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, I shall be that person that will encounter your divine. In the name of Jesus, I shall be that person. I shall be that person that we, uh, that we experience your divine encounter in today's service. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, I shall be that person that we experience your divine encounter in today's service. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. Oh, I put over my blessing. 
open by fire in the name of Jesus. Heaven over my blessing, open by fire. I don't want to go home in vain, oh Lord. Open, 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 open. I don't want to come here in vain. Father Lord, heaven over my blessing, open by fire. Open, 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 open. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. In this new month of May, I shall receive my total breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. I shall receive my total breakthrough in this new month of May, in the name of Jesus. I, I shall receive my total breakthrough in this new month of May, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying. Month of May, hear the word of the living God, deliver into my hand all our heart desires in the name of Jesus. Month of May, hear the word of the living God, deliver unto my hand. All my heart desires in the name of Jesus, month of May. Yeah, the word of the living God deliver into my hands all my heart desires in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying in this new month, Lord. Meet us at the point of all our needs in the name of Jesus, Father Lord. In this new month of May, meet us at the point of all our needs in the name of Jesus. May it was at the point of all our needs in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, in this new month, may it was at the point of all our needs in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying. Heaven over today's service. Open by fire in the name of Jesus. Heaven over today's service. Open, 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 open by fire. In the name of Jesus, heaven over to this side. Open by fire. Open, 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 open. So in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let's thank Lord for all answered prayer. Father, we thank you. We thank you for all our answered prayer. So in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us continue in that mode. Let's appreciate the King of Kings for another opportunity to be here today. Let's bless God from the bottom of our hearts. Counting us worthy to be here the first Sunday in the month of May. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for this year, Lord. Even for counting us worthy to be here again, Lord, we appreciate you, Lord. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. We call you the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the all knowing God. The Holy God, the unquestionable God, the immortal God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. He's our peace, He's our help. He's the shepherd of our soul, the giver of life, our defender, the only creation that was not created. We call you Abba Father. We call you Kadiesi. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The God of all possibilities. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. The God that can never die. We thank you, Jesus. The God that can never age, we thank you, Jesus. He's forever new. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Who is like unto our God? Father, we thank you. It is by your mercies, Lord, that we are not consumed. So many started this year. So many started this month. Even this week, even this morning. But they are no longer here. Who are we, Lord, that you are mindful of us? Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you all the silent battles you fought for us. Lord, we thank you because you have given us victory, Lord. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you for the men. We thank you for the women. We thank you for the children. Because you haven't given us cause to cry, Lord, we thank you. Because you haven't given us cause to bury anyone in this ministry, Lord, we thank you. Father, because there were various arrows, different arrows, Lord, but you fought for us. 
Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for fighting all our battles. We appreciate you, Lord. A thousand tongues is not enough. We thank you, Lord. Father, who are we that we are, we are mindful of us? We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Let your glory be above all the Let your glory be above be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heaven. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heaven. Let your glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be above all the earth. O Bata, O Bi, Tarisha, O Ware, O Shuba, Re, Re, O Shuba, O Shuba, O Shuba, Re, Re, O, O Shuba, Re, Re, O, O Bata, O Bi, Tarisha, O Ware. No, do, do, da, do, da, do, 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 Oh, Lord, to that one who gave 
He is my life, my strength, my song. His cornerstone, the solid ground. Them to the fairest drop, a stone. What height of love, what depth of peace. When fears are still, when striving cease, my comforter, my holy Lord, yet in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in man, let's be. His gift of love and righteousness, strong by the ones he came to save. Seal on the cross as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied. For every sin on him was laid. Yet in the death of Christ, there in the ground his body lay, light of the world by darkness lay, then bursting forth in glorious day, all from the day he rose again, and as he stands in victory. Sin cost has lost his grief for me, for I am his, and he is mine. Walk with the precious blood of Christ. No guilt in life, no fear in death. This is the power of Christ in me. From life of Christ, to find a bread, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no schemes of man can ever pull me from his hand. Till he returns, or calls me home. Yeah, in the power of Christ, I stand. Amen. Amen. Not Jesus. Not Jesus. Do not allow any scheme of man to block me from the hand in the name of Jesus. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Our first hymn, wait, our Bible reading for today is taken from 2 Kings verse 6, verse 1, chapter 6, verse 1 to the end. 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 1 to the end. And it says, and the sons of the prophet said unto Elisha, Behold now, this place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us. Let us go, we pray thee, unto Jordan, and take thence every man of thee, and let us make us a place there, where we may dwell. And he answered, Go ye. And one said, Be content, I pray thee, and go with thy servants. And he answered, I will go. So he went with them, and when they came to Jordan, they cut down wood. But as one was telling us, the axe head fell into the water and he cried and said, Alas, master, for was borrowed. Verse 6. And the man of God said, Where fell it? And he shewed him the place. 
and he cut down a stick and cast it in thither, and the iron did swim. Therefore said he, take it up to thee, and he put out his hand and took it. Then the king of Syria warred against Israel, and took counsel with his servants, saying, In such and such a place shall be my camp. And the man of God said, sent unto the king of Israel, saying, Beware that thou pass not such a place, for thither the Syrians shall come down. And the king of Israel sent to the place which the man of God told him and warned him so, and saved himself there, not once nor twice, verse 11. Therefore the heart of the king of Syria was sore troubled for this thing. And he called his servants and said unto them, Will ye not shew me which of us is, a, is for the king of Israel? And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet that is in Israel, tell the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber. And he said, Go and spy where he is, that I may send him fetch it. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Uthan. Therefore sent he the horses and chariots and a great host, and they came by night and compassed the city about. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, and host compassed the city both with horses and chariots, and his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Verse 17. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord and said, Smite this people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness, according to the word of Elisha. And Elisha said unto them, This is not the way, neither is this the city. Follow me, and I will bring you to the man whom you seek. But he led them to Samaria. And it came to pass, when they were come into Samaria, that Elisha said, Lord, open the eyes of these men that they may see. And the Lord opened their eyes and they saw, and behold, they were in the midst of Samaria. And the king of Israel said to Elisha, when he saw them, my father, shall I smite them? Shall I smite them? Verse 22. And he answered, thou shalt not smite them. What dost thou smite those whom they, thou hast taken captive with thy sword and thy bow? Said, Set bread and water before them, that they may eat and drink, and go into their master. And he prepared great provision for them. And when they had eaten and drunk, he sent them away. So, and they went to their master. So the bands of Syria came no more into the land of Israel. And it came to pass after this that Ben, that ben, that ben Hadad, king of Syria, gathered all his host and went up and besieged Samaria. And there was a great famine in Samaria. And behold, they besieged it until an ass head was sold for four score pieces of silver and the fourth part of the cab of doves done for five pieces of silver. And as the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall, there cried a woman unto him, saying, Help my lord, O king. Verse 27. And he said, If the Lord do not help thee, when shall I help thee? Out of the bath or out of the wine first. And the king said unto her, what aileth thee? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son, that we may eat him today, and we will eat my son tomorrow. So I boiled my son, and did eat him. And I said unto her the next day, Give thy son, that we may eat him, as she had hid her son. And it came to pass, when the king heard the words of the woman, that he rent his clothes, and he passed by upon the wall. And the people looked, and behold, he had sackcloth within upon his flesh. Then he said, God do so and more also to me, if the head of Elisha, the son of Shaphat, shall stand on him this day. But Elisha sat in his house, and the elders sat with him, and the king sent a man from before him. But ere the messenger came to him, he said to the elders, See ye how the son of a murderer has sent to take away my head? Look when the messenger cometh, shut the door, and hold him fast at the door. Is not the sound of his master's feet behind him? Verse 32, last verse. And while he yet talked with them, behold, the messenger came down unto him, and he said, 
Behold, the evil is of the Lord. What shall what should I wait for, the Lord and the Lord? But Lord God bless us this reading in our life. Let's take this prayer point. Um, Father, protect us as we go our lives. Father, protect us as we go our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Good morning, church. Right now, we are in intercession prayer now. Let's quickly read this Psalm 122. Psalm 122, verse 6. Says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We shall prosper that loves me. Firstly, let's go into asking for mercy. Let's ask for mercy because everybody has the same way or the other. Even sometimes, sometimes we need to be the same. Is the same. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for mercy. Father, Lord, have mercy on the whole nation. Have pray mercy on God. Father, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy on us. Have mercy, have mercy, Father, Lord, have mercy, have mercy. The whole nation of sin against you, Father, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. We can open your door to, to mercy, Father, Lord. If everything fails, mercy never fails. Father, Lord, we have your best. Mercy of God, you look for our life, Father Lord, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, and forgive us of our sins, Father Lord, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy upon the whole world, have mercy upon the whole nation, have mercy upon the United Kingdom, have mercy upon Nigeria, have mercy upon the whole world, and everyone confident of your Father Lord, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's see this prayer point. Father Lord, let your peace reign all over the whole world. Let your peace reign, Father Lord, let your peace reign all over the whole world. Father Lord, let your peace reign. Let your peace reign. Let your peace reign. Father Lord, let your peace reign all over the whole world. Let your peace reign in the United Kingdom. Let your peace reign in Nigeria. Father Lord, let your peace reign. If there is a peace, there will be everybody has to be, everybody will be in, in good hands. Father, let your peace reign. 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 All over the whole world. Let your peace reign. Let your peace reign. Let your peace reign. Let your peace reign. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father Lord, have mercy on the over in, in the whole world. Father Lord, have mercy on the Have mercy on over the whole world. Have mercy on over the nation. Father Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy upon the whole world. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy upon the whole world. Father Lord, have mercy. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, put an hand to all the trauma that is going around the whole world. Father, Lord, put an hand. Father, Lord, we put an hand. Put an end to everything that is going all over the whole world. Lord, put an end. Put an end. Father, Lord, put an end to all the trauma going all over the whole world. Father, Lord, put an end. Put an end. Put an end. Put an end, Father, Lord. We know you can do it. Father, Lord, forgive all our sins and put an end. Put an end. We know it's the sin that caused all of this. Father, Lord, put an end. Put an end. Put an end, put an end, put an end to all the trauma going all over the whole world. Father Lord, the whole world have seen. Father Lord, put an end, put an end, put an end, put an end. We want good health, we want peace. Father Lord, put an end, put an end, put an end. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Dear God, our word. The whole world is, Lord, Lord, let your peace reign and have mercy. 
Father, Lord, give us a, a good leader. We know you are you have appointed some people at the moment, Father Lord. We want your peace, your 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 hand to be upon the leader, Father Lord, so they can lead us right. Father Lord, let the leader, leader all over the whole, let them lead right. Let them lead right. Father Lord, put the your direction into their mind. Father Lord, let you let your let your let your and rest upon them in Jesus. Let us pray. Father, Lord, let rest your, your hand upon the leader in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, let your, rest your hand upon the leaders. Rest your hand upon the leaders. Let them do the right thing. Father, Lord, let your hand upon the leader. Let them do the right thing. Father, Lord, rest your hand upon the leaders. Let them do the right thing. So they lay your hand on them. Lay your hands on them. Lay your hands on them. Lay your hands on them. So they can do the right thing. Father, Lord, lay your hands upon them. Lay your hands upon them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The whole world is sick, Lord. Father, Lord, we want your healing. Father, Lord, we want your healing. Your divine healing. Father, Lord, heal us. Heal us. Heal us. Heal the whole world. Heal the whole world. Heal the whole world. Father, the whole world is sick. Heal the whole world. Heal us, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Heal the whole world. 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 Heal us, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Heal the whole world, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Heal the whole world. Heal us, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Heal the whole world. Heal the whole world. Heal the whole world. Father, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Father, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Dear God, our world is torn tall with with war and violence. Father, Lord, put an end to all this. The all violence in the whole world. Father, Lord, put an end to all violence in the whole world. Father, put an end. Put an end. Put all the violence in the whole world. Father, Lord, put an end. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. It's time for some discussion. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you this morning. We appreciate you for making it possible for us to be here this morning. We thank you for your faithfulness and we thank you for your mercy. Be that exalted in the name of Jesus. As we go to the rest of the school, Holy Spirit, be our teacher in the name of Jesus. Collectively and individually touch our hearts in the name of Jesus. Unto you be all the glory, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. God bless you. Uh, good morning, children of God. We still continue in this series, The Greatness of Jesus, Our Savior. Uh, the Greatness of Jesus, Our Savior. And today's um, Sunday School is titled, Jesus Was Consecrated, Lesson 8. Lesson 8, Jesus Was Consecrated. To be consecrated means to be sacred. That is something that is holy. Uh, we have a few texts there, please. And the first text is Isaiah. Isaiah 50, verse 6. Let's read it together. Let us open our Bible and we are going to read them. Anyway. Isaiah 50, verse 6. I'll be reading from here. Isaiah 50, verse 6. And it says, I gave my back to those who struck me. Well, remember when Christ was at the cross, they struck him. He had sustained many stripes. He says, I gave my back to those who struck me and my cheeks to those who plucked out the beard. That's what he suffered. Why he was about to die for you and I. He says, I did not hide my face from shame and spitting. The evil spat at him. It says, you, you ill people, you save people, save yourself. This is all what is suffered because of you and I, because of our sins. And the second text is taken from the book of 2 Corinthians, please. 
Second Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. Second Corinthians 8, 9. Second Corinthians 8, 9. It says, I speak not by commandment, but I am testing. Oh, Second Corinthians 8, 9. 8, 9. It says, for, for you know that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor. That is, he came to this world without nothing. Praise God. They gave back to him just like you and I. Even this was worse because they gave back to him in the manger. How many of us here they gave back to us in the, in the manger? None. Uh -huh. We are speaking to even some first class hospital. <laughs> Praise God. But they, he was rich. He became poor. They gave back to him in the manger. Why even the, the goats, the sheep and goats in, the, in their midst? He says, yet for your sake, he became poor. That you, through his poverty, might become rich. He came to us. He's coming to us. Is we benefit so many things from his coming. Praise God. Because he came and died for you and I. The reason why he came to this world, we, we, we have so many benefits. Benefits of healing. Benefit of being rich. Benefit of being saved. Praise God. Benefit of mercy. So many things. And the second one, the third one, it's taken from the book of John, John 10, John 10, 17 to 18. John 10, 17 to 18. It says, therefore, my father loves me because I lay down my life that I may take it again. I lay down my life that I may take it again. Who among us is even willing or even ready to lay down his or life for God. Nobody, but you said you. Ah. <laughs> but Jesus said, I lay down my life that I may take it again. He says, no one takes it from me, but I laid it down of myself. He says, I have power to lay it down. And I have power to take it again. He says, this command I have received from my father. He received, this was his, uh, his destiny, his purpose on earth. And thank the Lord, he fulfilled his destiny, he fulfilled his purpose. He fulfilled his agenda of God, which we, we are now tapping into it. Praise God. The next one, John 17, John 17, 18 to 19. John 17, John 17, 18 to 19. And you sent me into the world. Jesus was talking about his father. That you sent me into the world. I have also, have sent them into the world. That is, sent me and you to this world. And for their sake, I sanctify myself that they also may be sanctified by the truth. By the truth. He said he sent Jesus, God sent him to the world and he allowed, he agreed. He says, and that their sake, for their sake, for sake of you and I, he sanctify himself that we may be sanctified by the truth. The next one is taken from the book of Matthew. Matthew 26. Matthew 26, 39. Matthew 26, 39. And he went, he went a little further and fell on his face. And prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if it is possible, 
let this cup pass from me. It says, nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. When he was in Gethsemane, he was praying and praying, and uh, he could see the death standing there that is ready for you to die on the cross. He was praying, and he said, Father, if it's possible, let the call, this call pass me over. We bless the name of the Lord for sending us Jesus Christ. Who will die for us? Who is going to nominate himself or herself to die for the sins of the whole world? Nobody. He could see the agony, the pain, what he was going to go through, what he was going to experience. And he said, anyway, Father, let thy will be done. Let thy will be done. How many of us is trying to fulfill the purpose of God for his of our life? But God will have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. The grace to fulfill it, he will give it to us in the name of Jesus. And the, next, the same chapter, 26, let's read 39. Oh, or oh, 39. Oh, 53, please. 53. It says, Oh, do you think that I can not now pray to my father? And it will provide me with more than 12 legions of angels. That is, when the, the servant of the priest and those people came to arrest him, he said, yeah, I can call the legions of angels to arrest you. But because my plan and purpose is for me to die for all of you, I will still die for you, for your sin. He says, come on, let us go. I am ready to die. And verse 54. It says, then, it says, how then will the scriptures be fulfilled that it must happen thus? That is, it is a purpose, it must happen that I die for the people. Romans 5 19. Romans 5 19. Romans 5, 19. It says, for as by one small disobedience, many were made sinners. That is, from the day Adam and Eve had the apple, sin came into our lives. It says, for by as one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So also by one by one's man's obedience, talking about Jesus, by one's man's obedience, many will be made righteous. That is the obedience of Christ made you and I righteous. He laid down his life to die for you and I. But what are we paying back? We still remain in, in committing sin. Hebrews 12.2, Hebrews 12.2. This is looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame, and he has set, sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. He says that is whatever we are going through, whatever the case may be, whether is, there's no name for it, whether there's name, that problem has a name, whatever the case may be, whatever we are going through in this world, he says looking unto him because he came and died for a purpose for us to receive blessing, for us to receive breakthrough, for us to have a way out of that problem, for us to receive healing. He says, no wonder anything you're going to, just don't bother. Whatever the case may be, says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross. He endured all the pain and the agony. All people, what they the pain they afflicted on me. Since the shame that he said, and then after that, he rose up again 
and is sitting at the right side of God to receive you and I at the second coming. And I pray the mercy that we need for that day, we shall receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Since Jesus was consecrated, since Jesus did a marvelous work in this world, we all know that. The Bible says he went about doing good, healing the blind, healing the lame, cleansing the lepers, healing the sick, blessing people. Praise God. This is when he made through himself a way for sinners to be saved and reach heaven. That's for us. This is before, before he came to do that work, a decision had to be made. He decided, because he said he was going to go for us. He said, ah, Father, me, I will go. He decided to, to die for you and I because of our sin, so that we not go through the punishment of sin. Romans 5, 6. It says, when we are utterly helpless, it says, Christ came at the right time to die for us sinners. He came at the right time to die for us. And verse 7, verse 7 says, very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person. Very rarely. Nobody, praise God. No matter how the man love his wife, no matter how the wife loved the husband, praise God. No matter how the parent love their children, nobody is ready to die for someone. Bible even said it says very rarely, Romans 5 7, very rarely will anyone nominate himself to die. But Jesus died for you and I. He says he did not come, he did not have to come. It's just his choice. He says he did not have to die. He decided to do it in unity with the Father and the Holy Spirit. He says he committed or dedicated himself to the project of the plan. The plan was, ah, see the, how these people are committing sin. God was very hungry. He said, ah, I have to destroy them. But Jesus said, ah, don't worry, Father. Let me go and die for them. You are going to lay your blood. Yeah, he said, yeah, I'm ready. He says, for the plan of salvation for mankind. And our memory verse taken from the book of John 15, 13. He says, greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Who can lay down his life? Eh? <laughs> Who? Nobody. Even if you say, oh, I love the person. I love my darling. Are you calling your husband, your darling, your sweetheart, your honey, your sugar pie? When they say, okay, are you ready to die for him? You say, ah, you know, I have to look after the children now. Ah. Nobody but Christ surrender his life for you and I. And we continue committing sin, which means we are crucifying him again the second time. But I pray for you and I, the grace and the enablement to live a holy life, God will give it unto us in the name of Jesus. He loves us. No wonder the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his evil only only begotten son a sanctification, a sanctification that in the mix to make holy. Isaiah 56 says, I gave my back to the smiter, the smiting, he sustained stripes. He says, my cheeks, my face. Isaiah prophesied of this part of Christ's consecration. He says, Jesus gave, he was not forced, he surrendered. No, by no wonder the Bible says, the Bible describes him as a lamb. Praise God. Not as a goat. Sinners are good. But yes, because when you chase a goat from this place now, 
It will go back. It will go. Eh? It will burn. It will still, the goat will still go back. That's the reason why Bible is, but lamb, even when you bring out a knife to the neck of a lamb, lamb will be looking. He will not do anything. He will not fight. But goat, hmm. it says he was not forced. Christ was not forced. He consecrated himself to suffer it. Ah. Nailing so even children of God, even if let's just experience it. If you take a pin and pin yourself, you know how it will be painful. I wonder that nail is not those small, small nails, big nail. They nail the two hands, nail the legs, even turn of crown place upon him, and they use koboko with blade. That was the reason why he sustained those stripes. He says, I turned, I gave my back to the smiters. If you've seen the, the movie, Passion of Christ. He says he consecrated himself to suffer. He says this prophecy is fulfilled in Matthew 26, 47 to 27, 50. Second Corinthians 8, 9. He was rich, he became poor. So that people will not be saying, ah, ah, this is abracadabra. They gave back to him the way they gave back to us. But he didn't come with his glory. He left his glory. He left his riches in heaven. They gave back to him in the manger. The goats and sheep, they were eating beside him. And the mother gave back there. Praise God. So that if, the Bible says there was no place inside in him. So that people will not be saying, yeah, yeah, they gave back to him in the hospital now. He left his riches so that you and I may be rich. He says, we can only vaguely picture the vastness of this move. He says, we never saw the riches of heaven. The Bible says, it's made with gold. He says he voluntarily left it all to come to a world made destitute by the poverty of sin. This a very wealthy man. You cannot even count it. Very glorious man. He left everything. Praise God. I see you've seen some clips that some people, some men, they will pretend as if they have nothing in order to, to find a true love. Mm. They are billionaires, but they will come in. Some will sit by the roadside begging and eating, and they, and some ladies will be saying, oh, very stupid man, just get out. But Bible says Jesus left all the riches to die for you and I. It says that ye might be rich. It says what he is dead even gave us a big massive package. Package of healing, package of blessing, package of breakthrough, just package of promotion, package of deliverance. It says, What to make immeasurable law? It says, The creator gave all to hell. It says, His rebelling erection, a reverent creation. It says, That's why he just scrapped it as we will be a cracked dish. Because of love, he had put a mortal existence into his creature and could not bear for them to spend it in hell. He says, he knew the grace Christ was putting into action, his principle of grace and outpouring from divine life without charge to benefit mankind, a free gift. His death is free gift. No wonder. Ephesians 2. It says, we have been saved by his grace. It is not our own. It says, it's just a gift from God. It's a gift from God. Because he loved us. He didn't want to die in hell. The hell fighter is made for devil and his angels, the rebels. 
He says he gave his life. The next John 10, 17 to 18. Jesus came knowing that he would die for mankind. It was his choice. They didn't force him. Now they'll be forcing some of us. Oh, are you able to do this? Are you able to do Sunday school? Are you able to preach? Are you able to sing? Are you able to do ocha? Are you able to teach children in Sunday school? Some of you say, no, I don't have time. Not today, next month, next week, next year. But for one that is willing to die, Bible says, without being forced, is his choice. He says, I will die. He lived a woman life. He died a woman death. When they nailed him, he cried. He was so painful, children of God. He even said, I'm, on, I'm, I'm testing. And what did they do? They gave him vinegar. Even I'm, now, when we touch, I can't even taste vinegar now. How much more? They have not only vinegar, they put sponge into it. And it became more, more bitter. And they gave him to drink. Because of you and I. I pray to the God that when the road shall become, we shall receive mercy. Because all those, like our father in law used to say, the one that is called lamb now, we turn, people will see his other side. I pray we shall receive mercy when the road shall be called in the name of Jesus. Lord, and we shall continue from the next week. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. Lord, we pray that the only thing that you cry from us is to live a holy life. And the grace and the enablement, Lord, give it to us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you touch all our hearts in the name of Jesus. Plant your fear in our lives, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Unto you be all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Our Lord is good. Verse and faith. Jesus was consecrated. We talk about consecration. We're talking about dedication to the service and worship. Or you can call it devotion. You call it dedication. Are we dedicated to the work of God? And look, look at the memory verse. And we read it together. John 15, verse 13. Can we go? It's a greater law are no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Not just for his friends, even for his enemy. He laid down his life for everyone. And up to now, even those that call him themselves, his family, they are still condemning him. Why are we from far, far, far country? Amen. Amen. We've received him. Mm. No way, boss. Amen. Now you look at the, those people with the sentence that was in three days ago. I don't know. It's because at least maybe if the if the if it wasn't on record that they shake the father or the mother, that maybe one of them can donate. Okay, I cannot cannot people not donate for a younger one. They can. Uh -huh. That's the reason they are seeking for somebody to donate. Because they are not ready. They still want to enjoy life. And they have other people too. They don't want that one. Now. See what has happened. That's to tell you, nobody loves anyone. It's just by his grace. Because they can choose among themselves now and see what that, what that thing has caused them. If somebody is six and he has him to go and stay somewhere 10 years, the wife six years. Eh? Four and six months, I think. Yeah, four years. Six months. Even that four years. <laughs> <laughs> they don't lock somebody up. Look, if they ask you to stay somewhere, 10 days, even three days, 
they restrict your movement. Then you, you, you will know freedom is what is good. Uh, <laughs> uh, there are some three, three men. You have to go as this away. You will not see anybody. Nobody will, nobody will come to you. They'll just lock up this way. Then you will know that freedom is good. If you don't eat and you're able to walk around, you'll be thanking God. Yeah. So you will see water, you'll see something. Yeah. You still see somebody that will pity you. But they will, if they lock somebody up somewhere, you will even see the food you will not be able to eat. We are not talking of Bilonia now. And who, eh? who, who will guarantee that somebody is coming back after 10 years? It's just by the grace of God. We are talking of love now. To be devoted. So when you have the opportunity to serve God, serve him. There was an article they said, which I, I wasn't verified, that the money they're supposed to use to be the hospital. Yeah, for the same thing that happened. Uh, go, go that's so that's what we're talking about. We don't look. And for that treatment alone, we're talking about 80,000 pounds to do it. Which, you know, if God uh, say so that God will what? We, we kill. We will force meat match. Can you convert that money? 80,000. That's what they will still collect to. About. You think, uh, you, you see, Man, I say, that one you will just walk to the hospital here. Very expensive. All the treatment, if they should tell you, go and ask uh, your friend that cooks, money, the money they ask her to come and pay for the child's yeah. shed back. Is it 2015 or 25,000? Yeah. 80,000. Yeah. It was scan, one small scan. All the, the things that you are buying on, uh, uh, what do they call it, when they give you prescription? Some are, some are 100 pounds. Some are 400 pounds. They only, they only allow you to pay the same amount. You don't know they are subsidizing it. Uh -huh. That's why, how much is it? The, the, the medication people are collecting in a year, their salary for 10 years, you will not be able to buy it. 100,000 pounds. I know, that's what I'm saying. Even the, what the tax we are shouting that they are collecting. They take from the rich to yeah, I know. Even with that, why they still wait? The money is not enough. They are, they are, what I'm saying is that they love and they are helping. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, love. that's what I'm saying. I know. <laughs> that is true. It's not that. Even all this thing, you just go for scan, you go for everything. Don't you know? The, the time, Yakuwa was sick and he was in the home for almost one month. Then I asked them one day, if we were to pay, how much per day? So I said 4,000, 5,000. Per day? Per day. Ah. Then I said times three, almost four months. Ah. And I was a student. That I will, I will not do that. I will just want some way. You think, uh, yeah, this one, you'll be calling us. Come, come, we don't go. go uh, by, do, do you know, do, don't you know they are paying GP for your appointment? That's why they, yeah. Whether you attend or you didn't attend. They will, they will, pay. Uh, will they pay? Yeah. You send them be, you send the, the be, uh, you think, uh, yeah. so you. <laughs> 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 they, they, uh, <laughs> that's why they will say, don't be surprised, don't do this. They say, come, you say, I'm not coming. What's happening? You, 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 two minutes to the time you call them and say, I'm not coming. Send you're wasting money. So those ones now, because they fail to love the people, the masses, that's the reason now. If, if they have senses and brain, this, this, this particular one's supposed to teach. They, they, hey, but that, <laughs> let's be praying for them. <laughs> I mean, the, <laughs> greater love are no man than this, that a man lay down. They can look for somebody in their family, have somebody. I have mentioned it before now. Somebody known to me. The uncle, the one sponsoring all of them in the family, they took it in, shut it down. And the guy volunteer. The guy is only with one now. He volunteer. If you don't have any problem, you can live with one. Nothing will happen to you. I know someone that even gave, uh, the wife gave him his, uh, gave me uh, the kidney, one of the kidneys. But why do? 
No, this one I'm talking about, Yoruba guy, Nigeria. Yeah, so many. So now see them. The guy just turned the table. He turned the thing around looking for people, not because they agreed. It was a, the guy just like, it. but when God will punish you, he will, make, he will make you to make what? Mistake that you will not be able to watch. So he was. The guy just turned him around and asked him. The him. No, they will not send him anywhere. Because they, and it's true, they will kill him. Ah. No. The guy, you know, they just, if you look at the story, you will know that they told the guy what to say. And that's the reason, most of the time, it's dangerous to go and bring somebody for, uh, what do you call it, house appears. Uh, they turn against yeah, out of 10, now we turn against you because they will, in order to get people, they will say you are using them for slavery, and they are the first set to be to be judged with that law. So, when you want to bring somebody, think about it very well. It is for child something now, it's 10, 10 years old. So, we're talking about Jesus, lover. So, we don't love each other. If we love now, they will look for somebody in their family, which they in their village, they will see somebody that will. And even the, the money, they can use it to take doctor there. They can use it to set up a, a place that 80,000, that's about 80 million. million, 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 million. Ah. Oh, yeah. Then when God is about to go on your way, on his BI, you will look for money. If you need to get a plane, you will buy the flight and then go there to get a plane. You will buy the flight and then go there to get and God will help us in Jesus. And this is Jesus we're talking about now. For somebody mm, to have consecrated himself, to have said, okay, I am ready to what? To donate my life to the whole world. And even with that, I love it. We're still playing games with him. God will help us. And he help us call our soldiers in devotion. Mm -hmm. Look at that, Second Corinthians eight nine. Bible says he was free, huh? but because of you and I, he became what? He became poor. That is the owner of the universe. Now going about suffering for you and I, huh? Going about suffering for us, but then we still look at it as if it's one of those things. It's one of those things. We love it. They're enjoying the grace now. They will not be disgraced at the end of our journey in Jesus' Christ. So we just need to be careful. We have uh, what I can find to do, especially when it comes to things of God. Let us do it. Eh? With all our heart dedicated, let us do it. Don't let anybody put you or push me. Let's do it and go where possible. Can we call them? Because of what time. Amen. We finish everything. Are we ready to rest? Oh, yes. Finish it. Finish it. Sorry, 15. Okay. Talking about deliverance. Different type of deliverance. Okay. Can you mention two? For the, can you close your booklets? Where are you? Let me see you. You can stay there, don't worry. Just, just, just mention two. Eh? Okay. Yeah, doing what? Combine the words. <laughs> Somebody, you are helping him. Okay, deliverance from sin and flesh. Who can mention the other two quickly? Demons and what? And troubles. Demons and trouble. We're talking about how demons gain access to man. Morning. How can demons gain access to man? Confident. True covenant. And what is covenant? 
when you make what alliance, when you made alliance with the devil, what did the devil alone with his what his agent? <laughs> Covenants and agreement between two or more what or parties. The second one, how the monkey gives access to man. The second one? True causes. True causes. Whenever you violate the what the rules and regulations of God, one is attracting what causes. Daniel, who can cause? Of yourself. Yourself, yeah. Also God. God can cause, God bless you. Then who? Authority leaders. Those in authority, talking about leaders, parents, husband, pastors. Wife can cause you. Husband can cause. And that's the reason we need to be careful. Mm, we, should, we, we should not cause our children. Our wives also, our husband also, because they are happy. And the mothers, we should not cause our mother, mothers to should not what cause the children also. Mm? <laughs> I've said it here. <laughs> I've said it and uh, something. Yeah, being as the first of all, my mother know from the beginning up to today. Abby, yeah. you are with her. No matter what happened. And all she will just hear from us, it will move really. Now you child with what? A good edge, good destiny. <laughs> My mother will never cause you. Even if you like, turn, turn the old soup upside down. <laughs> turn the house no, up to now. And it's about 88 now. It will not cause. So we can learn from that. And God will help us in Jesus' name. God will help us. I mean, look into your Bible, you will see a sample of causes and other things there. Mm, we should learn from all this, beloved. Uh, we should learn not to be causing each other. Who needs deliverance? I know. Okay, she's not there. Now, who needs deliverance? Um, anybody under the money came to this. Yeah, anybody or everybody under demonic influence. And then who is not under demonic influence? <laughs> no way, Bozo. Yesterday I was about to pass uh, it way. Did you pass it yesterday? Ah, they, they blocked the whole road since Friday because the boy was killed there in it way, maybe 14 years. Yeah, they chase him, the modern father. They don't be big black or white. They they chase him with cutlass with everything and until they push at the body. That is a password or what they uh, that password are better. You have to block the eight ways because I was passing home. I was asking her, what is that? I said, I don't know. And I saw the police and when I go how to look with. So go where I in Jesus' name. Ah. Oh, yeah, boss. We all need deliverance. <laughs> if they are not possessed, that's why I'm going. If they are not demonic, how will you kill somebody? They, they, they call it post code gang and all sorts, killing each other. 14 years. Well, one year with 14 years in the secondary school. Year what? Year nine. Year nine. Yeah. Which will be class yeah. three and three. From three. Yes. They've killed him now. I saw when the mother killed the child and going to... Ah, that one. That one, uh, that's what you call it. <laughs> Is it kind of a... Uh, yes. yes. uh, that one, that one, that one, she's highly possessed. <laughs> or killing a child. Boy, the child. So, go with us in Jesus' name. Yes. So, these are Thanksgiving. But before we do that, do we have any testify? As we go into the word of God briefly, then we have to do to praise him. Amen. Beloved, let's begin to offer you rise up on our faith. As we go into today's message, let's begin to thank him for his mercy. Let us thank him, let us thank him for his faithfulness. Let us give him all the glory for all he has done for you and I. Let us thank him. Let us bless his holy name. Let us thank him, let us thank him. Our God is just too faithful. He is a good God. Let us thank him. Let us appreciate him. Things are happening, but we thank God. Beloved, before you know what is happening, I'm going to be talking of year 2020, what? 24. 24. 
And if it is in his coming or delay in his coming, we are going to witness it in Jesus' name. Yes. Not just witnessing it, but in good health Amen. and in prosperity in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Blessed be the name of the, of the Lord. Lord, of the Lord. You are worthy to, to be praised and adored. And adored, so we lift up. Holy hands, we wanna go. Singing, blessed be the name, hallelujah, blessed be the name, hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord, of the Lord, you are worthy. To be praised and adored, and adored, so we lift up holy hands in one accord, singing, Blessed be the Hallelujah, Blessed be the name, Hallelujah, Blessed be the name. Of the Lord, worthy, you are worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords, you are worthy, worthy, you are worthy, King of kings. Lord of Lord, we worship you. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, Jehovah, there is no one. Covenant keeping God, Covenant. There is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, Jehovah, there is no one like you. You are the reason why we are singing, Jehovah. You are the most I God. You are the reason why we are praising, Jehovah. You are the most I God. Jehovah, you are, you are, Jehovah. You are the most Jehovah, you are, you are, Jehovah, you are the most God. Before you sit up, pray this to prayer point. I'm praying the first one loud and clear like this. Say, my father, throughout this month of May, let me have reason to always praise you. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, throughout this month of May, let me have reason to always praise you, to always give thanks, give unto you. Lord, let me have reasons. Let me have reasons. Let me have reasons. Do not let me have reason to, to regret yeah, or to cry. Let me have reason to always praise you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, so in this month of May, my Father and my God, let me experience unusual enlargement in the name of Jesus, my Father, my God. In this month of bliss, let me experience divine enlargement in the name of Jesus. Let me experience, let me experience, let me experience, let me experience in Jesus' wonderful name we are praying. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you. We bless you for all you have done for us. And we appreciate you for that which you will continue to do. Father, unto you be the glory. Lord, we are here to learn from your faith once again. Open our eyes of understanding. Let the power of the anointing in your word set us free today. Amen. Father, unto you be the glory. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name we have prayed. Amen.
God bless you. Let's have a seat. And let's open our Bible to the book of Genesis, chapter 9, and I'll read it in verse 27. Genesis 9:27. And he goes up. They may go and love Japheth and let him dwell in the tent of Shem and let Canaan be his what? A servant. <laughs> this is Noah praying from one of his sons, Japheth. And he said, Let God enlarge what? Enlarge Japheth. That is, let Japheth experience enlargement. And let him dwell in the tent of Shem. And let Canaan be his servant. So it is not just enlargement alone, but let people serve him. Beloved, it is a gender of God for you and I to be a match. It is a gender of God for his church to be a match. Okay. Exodus 34, 24. Exodus 34, 24. 34, verse 24. Say, for I will cast out nations before thee. This is the Lord talking. And enlarge thy borders. Neither shall any man desire the land when thou shalt go up to appear before the Lord that God tries in the end. Say, for I will cast out nations before thee. This is the Lord talking. The he will cast out what? Nations before him. That is, it will remove what? So ever needs to be removed before you. It's not talking about individual. God is talking about nations. Say, so I will cast a nation before thee. And enlarge what? Thy borders. That is, I will increase you. I will enlarge your border. Still talking about what? Enlargement. Say, neither shall, neither shall any man desire your what? Your land. That is, nobody will confess what belongs to you. That is physical or spiritual robber will not come near you. That is what belongs to you. You are not saying amen. amen. Will be yours. Amen. That is, you will not lose anything. Eh? When thou shalt go up to appear before the Lord, then God tries in the end. That is, even if you are here in his presence, what you left at home will be, will be secure. If you are here in the United Kingdom, what you left in Nigeria with God will be secure. That is, there will be given what? Security. Maybe you saw that video. You don't know, maybe it's your fault or the fault of government. You saw it. The human said, ah, we went to judge you. They are destroying our properties. So, well, all our documents, all this, all that. But the government said, devise them to move. They are saying it's because yeah. they are from the eastern part. So we don't know which one to believe. I don't believe government will do that. <laughs> and God will help us. But in, in this instance, why we telling you that wherever you are, what belongs to you will be what? Will be secure. Let's read one more. Deuteronomy 19, and I will read it tonight. The book of Deuteronomy 19, it's tonight. See, and if the Lord that God enlightened the cost, and if the Lord that God enlightened the cost, as he has sworn unto the Father, and give thee all the land which he promised to give unto the Father. And in the Lord thy God enlarge your what? Enlarge your cost. As he has sworn unto thy father, fathers, and give thee all the land which he promised to give unto thy what? To thy father. That is, he will, he will enlarge your cost as he has promised. Verse 9. If thou shalt keep all these commandments to do them, which I command thee this day to love thy, to love thy Lord thy God and to walk ever in his ways. Then shalt thou add three cities more for thee beside these three. That is, if you want to experience enlightenment, you have to what? Follow the rules and regulations laid down by God. He will not just give it, he will even add to it. Why is the Lord not adding to us? Because we are not listening to him. We are not doing what he asks us to do. If you keep to his commandment, God will do it. God is not the time that will say, bring this, I will give you this, and we don't do it. No, that's not God. That's not God. This morning, we're looking at what I tell you. It shall be my season of enlightenment. It shall be my what? 
my season of enlargement. It shall be my season of enlargement. Try as much as possible to be brief so that we can have time to dance and praise him before we go. It shall be my season of enlargement. Beloved, don't look at what you are going through. Don't look at what is going on all over the world. What he has promised, he has promised. And what he has promised to do, he will do. Where he has promised to take you to, he will take you there. What he has promised to do unto you and your family, just believe he will do it. If you look at what is going on around us, uh, <laughs> economy is not saying what they're writing. We don't know maybe it's going to be or it's not going to be. Is it very soon? I don't get to have a tissue paper in the store. Yeah, they say, yeah, because of some things. Don't let me go into that. Oh, beloved. Eh? Even if you go and buy 100 rules, are you not going to finish it? And where are you going to even keep it? Do we have enough, you know, enough work, space to do all that? But you know this, beloved. God is still faithful. You can see what is still going, what is going on all over the world. God is still keeping to his promises concerning you and I. Amen. It shall be my season of what? Enlightenment. enlightenment. When you talk about enlightenment, what does it mean? It means state of being enlarged. The man said, uh, Jacob, he said, with just one step, I cross this ocean, this wilderness. And when I'm coming back, I am returning with what? With much attitude. Some of us, when we came to this country, we came alone. Eh? Now, some have what? Wife, children. And not just that, they are now calling themselves British. Eh? But what do you, Abby? Are you, Sister Kevin, were you British from Nigeria? No? Is that like You go here, and now you have the blue, some have, some have red, some have blue. It's not about the blue. <laughs> it's the real, the real blue. <laughs> not, the, not the fake one. No, we have seen Jesus. Uh, whether you like it or you don't like it. Uh, very soon we are going to swear, swear my friend. <laughs> Say it goes here. No. Uh, enlightenment is a night of what? The state of being enlarged. What is an enlightenment? It means increase. That is, for you to experience increments. Amen. I was saying, and the Lord will enlarge you on what? Increase you on every side. That is, it will enlarge you on every side. Some of us is saying, no, no, I've stopped bearing children. But very soon, are we not going to have black children? If you stop, then there will still what? Continuation somewhere. Is there enlightenment? Go when you will see in few years now. I said, that can you like all of us? Everybody, you sit down somewhere. And those grandchildren, everybody, it's that they will be disturbing you. Very soon now, it's just a matter of few years. First of all, we become what? Grandfather. Grandfather. <laughs> Grandfather. <laughs> Amen. Very, very soon. And they're not going to get married. Those of you before allowed. Yeah, they will get married. Amen. If you stop, the, the, the children too will continue from there. And that's our prayer. That's what we're talking about. Enlightenment, what does it mean again? It means expansion. Even as a child, we need expansion, we need enlightenment. It means to what? To step up. I want to be brave, but then. When we get to where I'm going away, <laughs> uh, just we've had all this before from me, from Pastor, from Pastor Kevin, from Pastor Phoenix. Then, what you need to know about enlightenment, what you need to know that is, when there is an enlightenment, what are the things you will notice? Number one, when there is an enlightenment, it will bring about change of story. To bring about change of story. The one they've been calling Sarah. When they gave her to 
Isaac. Isaac. They will no longer call her what? Sarah. They will call her Mama what? Mama Isaac. Because the story has changed. Some of us, when they ask you, uh, which country are you from? You say, I mean, I'm a British Nigerian, or I'm a Nigerian British, I mean. But we are Nigerian before what? Before we become British. But the children, they are what? They are British Nigerian. But they are not. They are British before what? For, uh, was it really, you know, four days ago. And we are talking about the Queen, uh, the King and everything. Then Isaac looked at Joshua. He said, you, you are from Nigeria. <laughs> you are not from. <laughs> and that one, that one had to be saying, Daddy, is it from, from Nigeria? I said, as he started crying, I said, no, no money. <laughs> <laughs> the guy you sell you look. <laughs> You're from Nigeria. <laughs> Amen. It will bring about change of story. Yes, when there's an enlightenment. Number two. When there is enlightenment, it will bring about what? Change of name. We work together. Your name will be changed. When you experience enlightenment, they will change your name. What are those things you will notice again when there is an enlightenment? It will attract friends and enemies to you. Amen. Because people will want to be attached to you. People will, yes, when you experience the enlightenment, even the people that are not your friend, they will, they will, they will, they will be mentioning your name. Number four, you will become a reference point when you experience enlightenment, you will become a what? A reference point. In order to say, Father, this is where I'm going. Requirement for divine enlightenment. I'm talking about it shall be my season of enlightenment. This is where I want you to listen. What are those prerequisites or requirements if you desire Enlightenment. Number one, you must be a friend of in the enlarged one. You must be a friend of God. I want you to listen, by the way. You must be what? A friend of God, beloved. You must be a friend of God. Let's go into the Bible. Because I'm going to be giving you bad reference. And I want you to listen very well. Deuteronomy 8.18. In order to be enlarged in life, you must be a friend of God. You must love God. You must be his friend. You must be the friend of God. Are we there? You can reason. And you shall remember mm -hmm. the Lord your God for it is he who gives your power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which is what to your fathers, as at his this day, then it shall be if okay, you. He said, but thou shalt remember the God, for it is he that giveth the power to get what? To get where? To be enlarged. If you want to be enlarged, you must put God first in everything you are Because without God, you cannot be enlightened. We have best brain, best certificate outside there, achieving nothing. So if you are achieving things, you must have it at the back of your mind that it is not your strength or your power, that it is God that is helping you. In my language, when you talk about you, Huh? <laughs> that is, if things are going accordingly for you, do not call other person a lazy person. Some people are not lazy, only that things are not working for them. It's not because they are lazy. Because you are pressing it and the thing is answering you. You are eating it and the sun is coming out. Does not mean others don't know how to do it also. That's the reason you must recognize God in whatever you are doing. 
You must always remember him in whatever you are achieving. Any day you open your eyes and you say, oh, my hand and my certificate has achieved this. You are about to what? To go into, into wilderness like who? Nebuchadnezzar. The day the man failed to what? To recognize God. God turned into what? An animal. May that not be your lot, and may that not be my lot in Jesus' name. Amen. I know you are enlarged already, but I believe you will still want more. And in order to achieve more, you must always recognize God. You must always reckon with Him. That's the first thing to do, beloved. Don't look at other people and say you don't know how to do it. Do you know some people are praying more than you? Do you know some people don't even have any other house than living on the mountain, praying? And when you're on the mountain, when it's convenient or not convenient, you have to pray. They will only give you a few hours to pray your whole. Later, they will say, bang, 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 stand up. Huh? They are well there, everybody. Say, jump up, sit down. You will not be in control again. And whether you like it or not, you just have to what? You just have to pray. But you are not living anywhere. You are just coming here, how many hours in a day? In a, in a week, just two hours, three hours. You don't come on Tuesday on Zoom. Soon I will be praying, you'll be eating. Soon I'll be praying, you'll be cooking. You know yourself. <laughs> Soon I'll be praying, that you lie down. And you say, <laughs> but some people are there, when they be forcing them to be praying, they don't have choice. So when you are shipping things, you still need to recognize God. Wherever you are, wherever you find yourself, that's the first thing. If you want to experience the enlightenment, we're talking about. If you wanted to be your season of alignment, even with all that is going on, you need God more than anything. Because I need to emphasize this. Since they've been talking about famine, talking about everything, huh? some of us were still looking for a way of what? Of shedding some what? Fat. To do exercise has become a problem. <laughs> And they're talking that people are not eating. People are not doing this. Say to yourself, say, I thank God for my life. Uh, you may not know. Some people, uh, they are really passing through a lot. So in all you are doing, in all you lay your hands upon, continue thanking him. Give thanks and praise him always. It's not by your strength. What you went through, and you came out and you're still complaining. Huh? Some people, they went through it. They are not here to tell the story. Say, Father, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Even at that week end, when you believe nothing will happen again, eh? Matt, did he not show up? He appeared in your situation. He appeared in my situation. Then why are we not recognizing him? Why are we not thanking him more than asking things from him? Many of us just need to think, started complaining, started abusing God. Don't you know when you complain too much, all you are doing is that you're abusing God? When they ask people, when they're asking people, how many of you have how many of you have engaged in, <laughs> or have abused God before? You say you're not part of it. Too much what complain is what? It's abuse because you're not. Bible says, in everything, thank him. Some of us, when we receive 99, just one that is missing, started grumbling. You know, you are by missing. <laughs> but when things are going, they will not ask you, you will start dancing. Just one. Uh, eh? Only in your. Ko <laughs> Shake it all right. Number two. What do you need to do if you wanted to be your season of enlightenment? 
you must desire enlightenment. Even as a child, we need to desire enlightenment. As an individual, we need to desire it. Second Kings chapter six, verse one. Second Kings chapter six, verse one. And, saying, and the sons of the prophet said unto Elisha, Behold, now the place where we dwell with thee is too what? Is too small, it's too straight for us. The man was the one teaching them how to become a prophet. He's the one coaching them. They now discover they occupy everywhere. Even where the man needs to what to sit and eat, no place to sleep. They are even occupying his bed. They now said to him, look, the, the place we are staying with you is no longer conducive for us. Don't be contented with that position you are. Don't just say, yes, I'm here now. Nothing is. I remember when I traveled last day. I sent a message and somebody just said, man, how are you? I did Then my mind called her and I called her and she was it. I said, okay. So where are you I'm in Nigeria? Say, hey, you are in Nigeria. It is not empire. Kill the shebe. And she started saying a lot of the she started, she continued. I said, look, you can stop order from traveling, not me. You don't even need to talk. <laughs> because <laughs> even if they are killing everyone, they will not kill me. Look, later we, we go talk when I return. And this out. All the things I said to you. So if I knew the time you are traveling, I would not allow you to say, uh, you not allow me when I have something to do. Now I told her, how many children have you said to? You see how this one here? It's not a cost, it's not anything. Many of them, when they go to where? To university. It is from there they will get a job. And some will not come back. So prepare yourself. And what was the name you call that again? Olabo Boyabi. Akibola Yibo Boye. So, so <laughs> when you say Akibola Boye, <laughs> just be preparing, but maybe I'll be saying no fool. So, <laughs> many are not prepared. Hey, Akibola. Many people are not prepared. From there, they will get a job. Some will say, okay, I've got a, they will get just one small job. From there, they will get the real one. And from there, they're not coming back home. From there, they will get married and they will move. And I said to her, I said, You are not planning. Your husband is back home in Nigeria, your two children, they are, you, they are already in the school. If he has not taken, if you don't plan very well, they ah, and I said, You are telling me the truth. So, except you want to stay here forever. If you, do, if you are not planning to stay here, you have to plan about your future also. So, beloved, we need to desire what? Enlargement. You want it to be your season of enlightenment. You just need, you just don't sit and say, hey, "This is how it will be." God will sort it out. There are things you need to plan. Also, mm-hmm. you have to make move. You have to desire it. You know your area of calling. Make move in that area. Don't just sit and say hey, it will happen. You need to desire enlightenment. Number three. For it to be your season of enlightenment, what do you need to do again? Plan, huh? Plan about it. Yeah, you need to what? You need to plan about it. Don't just sit down. Many of us are using prayer to cover up things. You need to plan. Luke chapter fourteen. Twenty-eight to thirty. Luke fourteen twenty-eight to thirty. Do you want to read that? Yes. For you have heard me say to you, I am going away. No, look for Tim. For Tim. Oh, sorry. For Tim 28. For which of you intending to build a tower? Okay. Sitting the sitting not down for uh-huh. and comment the no, no man and counted, counted the cost. Oh, 
hundred the cost, uh -huh. whether it has sufficient to finish it. To finish it. Last, let's, 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 let's uh -huh. thing. Uh -huh. After it had laid the foundation. The foundation. And is not able to finish. And he is not able to finish it. All that finished. The other behold, behold it, uh -huh. began to begin mock to mock him, uh -huh. saying, saying, This man began to build and was, was not, not able, able to, to, finish. to finish. Oh, what no, bless you. Okay, man. Okay, man. For which of you intended to build a, what, a tower? See, they're not down. Don't just jump into things. You see, more than ever before, somebody showed me. Listen, though, this is the time. Because we are getting less now and we're spending more. And you see, every information is what is vital currently. Listen to this. I was just talking to that man. And the man said, Do you know you can still cons uh, conserve some money through your lazy? I said, How? I said, Do you know? Because the man walk, uh, he knows how to what to repair. AC, fridge, and so on. He said, you know, I said, I don't know. He said, do you know your, free, uh, your freezer? You can be switching it off for 12 hours, even 24 hours sometimes. He said, ah. So you do it. When you do it, you will see what will happen, especially during the day. And do you know, when the freezer has been home for three, four days, if you remove it two days, it will still be there like that. You're only wasting light when the thing is there. You know, we just plug it and you leave it there. You can switch it, and I've started doing it. Sometimes a whole day, little will just be there. Even in this summer, another time you just put it on there, the thing is just reading, reading, and doing not. <laughs> Am I telling you something? I told a, a pastor as well. He said, Pastor, I removed it for four days. I said, uh -huh. And the thing was, yeah, when you're not, do you open? No, hold on. You don't know. You've got a fridge. And you've got freezer. You don't open it. You're not taking anything there. The thing will be there. When this comes to winter, you leave it. Let me tell you this. When it snows, how many days does it take the snow if you don't wash it? A week, same thing. Freezer is more than this. Because it's not something you open here and there. At least we don't want to do three days today. So 24 hours, I've done it. The thing, everything was just there. That is we've been wasting money since all these days. And what they are charging in the afternoon is not what they are charging you at night. It's expensive to do it. Say, Pastor, if you want to do it, you're not at home in the afternoon, remove it. When you come back, put it back on. So it's better to remove it during the day. During the day. You're not taking anything there. Um, and now we're just paying the money and they are happy. That's the thing we just believe. Really, same thing applied to your phone. If the battery is full and you put it there, the thing will just be wasting your money. You know, I'm not building on it. Leave that and say, oh, no. And that's the reason the battery is <laughs> it's not working after one year. Because you'll be cooking it. Uh, my mother, Mrs., she will cook her own. Uh, she always cook it. During the night, the thing with it, when, when I open my eyes, I will remove it. That's the thing we have, we have been charged, full, and the thing will stay with it. And you are also destroying the battery, and you don't know. So the moment of freezer, I've tried. Uh, is this something you open every now and then? You try it for two hours. You will see the thing will just be there. You, know, you don't even know that. You will even unplug it all. We need to plan. By the time you save maybe 15 days on that alone, you will see the difference in what? In your bill. But if you continue spending the way they are bringing it now, the money will not be enough for I said if increases since April first or May first, huh? April, they give you temper and you are spending extra two hundred pounds. How do you place it beside each other? Shall be our season of enlargement in Jesus' name. To be enlarged, we need to plan also. Number four, you want enlargement, beloved? Pray and fast. Pray and what? First Chronicle. Chapter 4, verse 10. First Chronicles, chapter 4, verse 10. He talk about Jabez. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou will bless me indeed and enlarge what? 
He did not keep his word mouth shut. There are things you need to pray huh? about. Beloved, like we prayed yesterday, you need to pray to detach something from your life in order to be enlarged. Because if they are still there, some people is confessiousness. They buy this, they buy that. You want to be enlarged. Amen. And you can't keep your eyes, especially our sisters. You, you continue buying, 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 buying. I'm, not talk, I'm no longer talking now. When they bring the pass, I'll just take it, put it down. <laughs> when they bring it, I'll collect it, put it somewhere. <laughs> some of you, are you, you're not, you not doing for some parade. Some, the clothes, some of our sisters, eh? I mean, it's like all of you, you know yourself. The clothes, all of you, all the clothes you have at home. They can give it to ten people, and they will still be wearing it for a whole year. This country now, when it's when it's uh, winter, by the time you put on a jacket, they don't even know where, where you're putting on. It's only in summer that you can still. And we continue buying shoe, shoe, shoe. The bag of shoe in my house, which eh, they don't they don't even remember. I don't want to mention one person. <laughs> you know when I say they don't, <laughs> which you know people don't even. Our sister, you don't even know. Even as a man, sometimes I don't even know. I've got some shoes. There are not many. But when you go to work, you just put on anything you go and you come back. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10. And, Bible says, and Jabez called on God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou will bless me indeed and enlighten my course, and that the hand might be with me, and that thou will keep me from what? From evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. To be enlarged, you also need prayer and fasting. There are things you need to pray out of your life. There are things you need to pray in. You need to pray to know the mind of God about the enlightenment. You need to pray to detach whatever you need to detach. And you need to pray for continuous what? Enlightenment. He said unto him, I don't want anything to come out. To come any evil to come near me after you've enlarged me is not eh, hallelujah today and another thing tomorrow. No, I don't want that. That's where prayer comes in. Number five, you desire that enlightenment. You want it to be your season of enlightenment. Let me quickly finish so that we can go into our into our into our praise and worship. Increase your service to the Almighty God. You want him to enlarge you, increase whatever you are doing to him. Proverbs 11 30. Proverbs 11 30. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. And whosoever, I like this, this one. <laughs> whosoever captures souls is white. Okay, just like says, whosoever winners soul is what? Is wise. That is, you must learn to do what to work for God. Anywhere you are, talk about it. The more you propagate his kingdom, the more it will enlarge you. You know, there's some people are still getting it right, though. And we shall all get it right in Jesus' name. Amen. Number six. I'm talking about it shall be my season of what? Enlargement. You want to be enlarged? Number six. To be alive, you need to endure hardship. You need to endure what? Uh, it cannot just be rosy, rosy, rosy every time. There are times things will not be as planned, but you still have to endure it. Second Timothy, chapter 2, verse 3 to 6. Second Timothy, chapter 2, verse 3 to 6. You want to read? You therefore, you therefore must endure hardship. You must endure hardship as a good soldier. As of Jesus a good Christ. soldier, you, know, you don't see soldier, the one from that you see them complaining or murmuring. Even those who are fighting will quarrel. Because when you try to murmur, or to grumble eh? in the war front, you are looking for what? For problem. Because why are you doing that? 
That is no place to complain. Many of us, the time we're supposed to rise up and endure for just little moment. That is when we started grumbling, we started talking. No. No. It's an endure hardship as a good soldier of Christ. Uh, no one mm -hmm. engage in warfare. No one engage in warfare. Entangles himself uh -huh. with the affairs of this With life. the affairs. Please, can you listen to this? I'm reading when you get up. There is a no one engage in warfare. And you now add that thing. You start saying, you have to choose one. If it is complete, you are going to complete. Continue. But if you want to fight the battle and win, face it squarely. No. No. Continue, sir. Uh, and that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. You are enlisted into what? Into the, into the army of what? Of Christ. So far, you are not ready to engage in juju. You are not ready for sham. You must endure what hardship. There are things some of us are passing through that if we share with some people, huh? <laughs> they will say, no. If you can be serving Jesus, you are going through this. I'm not serving that Jesus again. Some cannot. But it is part huh, of it. If you want to be alive, you need to endure. Nothing comes easily. You just have to endure. You just have to endure. The pains will be there. And you will still be saying, it is well with me. I will get there. I will get there. And before you know what is happening, you will get there. This is Paul talking to Timothy that he needs to want to end your thing. We are not saying it is easy. Do you know sometimes you open your eyes on Sunday, you don't feel like coming because you will be too tired. The body, I don't know. Maybe they program it from heaven. When it is Sunday, you, your body will know it is Sunday. When it is weekend, the body will know. Because we've been working since Monday, the thing will just be there. You will not feel like what? Getting up from your bed. But you will still say, no, I need to be there. I need to be there. Continue, sir. And also, and also if anyone competes uh -huh. in athletes. In athletes. He said, if anyone strives for mastery according, mastery according to in this version, if you compete as what? As an athlete. Uh -huh. He is not crowned uh -huh. unless he competes according to the rules. You have to follow. It's okay, sir. You have to follow the rules. And part of the rule is to endure. What? Hardship. Beloved, you can't compare Musala. Now, Louis Musala. Eh? The runner. No, no, no. I'm not talking about... That one is not what, what about the one that I run the uh, uh, 10,000 uh, something? Mufara. <laughs> Mosala is a footballer. And you will know that one. I, I, I made a mistake. I'm not talking. No, I know you. I want to say Mufara. Sorry. I know you will know Mosala because you are used to football. Uh -huh. The one from Egypt, Abi. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so you will. I'm correct. Don't worry. We are going to very soon. We bring TV here. We are going to be watching Asta and everything together. Don't worry. <laughs> you don't like us now. <laughs> and I am. <laughs> I was supposed to mention Mufara. You dare not compare Mufara with Uzebot. Ah. Uzebot, if you try what Mufara is doing, it will die. You are talking of somebody running for three hours non stop, and somebody running for one minute. You, <laughs> the worst it can run is 200 meters. If they are not, huh? Is Mufara we run? Yeah, marathon, 10,000. That's what we're calling what? Enduring action. You cannot do it. But because we want microwaves, breakthrough. That's why we're not ready to endure anything. Small things, yeah, uh, 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 where is this going? Oh, he has been, he has done it for so, so, so much. What, what did I do? Why you going to get me? No, you, you can't place them together. But you will see people celebrating who's in both. More than what? Mufara. But those <laughs> that knows about what? 
praise, we celebrate my father. Because you are talking about somebody running continuously for three hours. It's not easy. That's what we call enduring what? Hardship. Let me mention two more so we can go into our. Yeah, I want to live in another two, three minutes. What do you need to do again in order uh, for it to be your what, your season of enlightenment? You must not lose focus. You must not lose what? Focus. The one we call pilot, the one we call sailor, if there is wind and there's a the yay and there is their two hands up, say, what happened to the people? <laughs> so if you don't have God, you dare not go for aeronautic what? Engineering. You dare not. Even when the thing is going up, I remember <laughs> if you listen to one of these messages one day, the first time my sister <laughs> with your plate was a local, local flight. We traveled from Lagos to Abuja. And when the thing was about to what? To take off, she just grabs it. Brian, I grab you. <laughs> now she's not running over the <laughs> So <laughs> that's why I said, no. I said, that is me. Say, ah, anybody, 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 we are going somewhere. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, beloved, if you don't, if you're not focused, you cannot be, ah, beloved, it's not the bad so. When you're on sea, and there's what? Yes. Waves, stop, turbulence. If you are not strong enough, when we die before the, before even the angel of death appear, or you're in the year and there's turbulence, beloved. Baba, the way with all the anointing, Baba says, and I quote, that when the thing happens, they start asking for forgiveness of sins. Say, Father, we decide to go home, help me. Say, he even forgot to pray. <laughs> So we are talking about where we so beloved, we need to what to be focused. That's what I'm trying to say. Philippians chapter 3, 14, 13 to 14. I mentioned one month, then we go into our Thanksgiving. We need to be focused. We want it to be our season of what of enlightenment. We need to be focused. We must not lose focus as a church, as individual. We need not lose focus. See, brethren. I can't know myself to have what apprehended. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are what? Which are behind. And reaching forth onto those things which are what? Ahead of me. Many of us were still recounting things that happened in the past. Ah, but told you what? Over me. If you don't leave that, you are not going anywhere. It's like you are running 100 meters and you are looking back. You will not only lose the race, one we even what fall down again. You can't be walking and be turning your head back and say you're going somewhere. No. Or that we forget about what has happened. Move forward. Don't lose focus. Just concentrate. Just say, I am going somewhere. And I will get there. Verse 14. You see, I press toward the mark for the price of the high calling of God in what? In Christ Jesus. I pray towards what the mark. You set the target and face it. Don't look back. There will be noise. There will be distraction. That man said, and I quote, he said, if you need to attend to all the dogs barking against you on your way somewhere, huh? will, you, will you get this? Huh? This one back, he said, you, 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 you take a story, you throw. That one back, especially at night in Nigeria. They are going somewhere, and the dogs are, the dogs are barking. Ooh, 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 ooh. And, you, and you say, ah, not just <laughs> throwing story, you are chasing the dog. No, forget about things. People will do things, people will vend you, things will happen. But you just what? Face where you are going. And lastly, we know where can leave you. Walk with people of like minded. Walk with people. The people that share the same passion. Huh? Youth, you want to get to your destination. You want to be, walk with people that share the same passion with you. You know you want to go for aeronautic engineer. Don't go and sit down with somebody studying law. Law is good, but look for somebody that is good in science. You want to be an architect. Don't go and sit down with somebody doing what? Business admin. You are not in the same what? In the same area. No, it's just a waste of time. Choose your friend rightly. 
Choose the person. You want to be enlightened in your life, you have to choose those that are aiming towards the same goal as you. You don't just choose anybody as your friend. You can maybe you started together in the nursery, uh, in the fresh uh, primary. This, if your friend has chosen another thing, you look for those people that will help you in your a, your own area of what of career. If a pastor make about his, his friend, what's he looking for? <laughs> Philippians chapter two. I'm going to stop it. Philippians chapter two, verse one and two. See, if there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels of mercies, they for, for free ye my joy, that ye be like minded, having the same law, be of one accord, of what? Of one mind. Philippians chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. That is, you want to be enlarged, look for people of like minded, those that share your passion. Those that share what you share. Don't just gather people and say, hey, yes, we are going somewhere. Someone wants to be selling paper. And you want to be selling clothes. What does we have to do? Yeah, I know. If you want to be selling turkey and chicken, you can place each other there. Uh, you know when they when they buy turkey, they will buy what? Uh, they will buy it. You are selling clothes, you don't come put somebody selling palm oil beside you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Especially, maybe you are selling white clothes. What are you looking for? Looking for trouble. It's my season of what? Enlargement. We shall be enlarged in Jesus' name. Bow down your head and begin to talk to God. Say, Father, enlarge me. And begin to talk to him as the crowd will come to the front to lead us. Say, Father, enlarge me in all areas. Enlarge me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. On this ground, we come to give you praise. In this church, we come to worship your name. Only you can do what no man can do. Only you can fix what no man can fix. Everybody come to shout. Everybody come to sing. Everybody come to shout. Everybody come to dance. Ever be big as you got, egg, egg, ever be big as you got, egg, egg, ever be big as You 
Oh, she 
Praising, you should continue to praise him in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's time for Titan offering. Whatever you like to give unto God and uh, the children of God, if God has laid it in your heart to give to this commission, our account details is displayed on the screen. God bless you. Father, we thank you. Out of what you've given unto us, this is just a token. Lord, we pray that you accept it in the name of Jesus. Amen. You rebuke it for us in, the, in our lives in the name of Jesus. You bless us mightily in the mighty name of Jesus. Beyond our imagination, beyond other expectations, Lord, we pray that you open the windows of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Unto you be all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Thank you, thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Amen. This is Fire of Crime Mystery International. We meet here every Sunday from hour of 9.15 to 12.30 in the afternoon. And every Sunday, Tuesday is our revival hour. We started the program. God commanded us uh, the healing Tuesdays. Uh, so this Tuesday, coming Tuesday, uh, from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., this Tuesday, by God's grace. Uh, let's join, please. God bless you in the name of Jesus. And our program, Hour of His Faithfulness, is on Saturdays from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. And our live video, Night of All Possibilities, is on third Friday of each month from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. And any Friday that we have night video, the following Saturday, next day, we won't be having the program, Hour of His Faithfulness. First Sunday of each month is our Thanksgiving Sunday. And last Sunday of each month is our Deliverance Sunday. Our Children Deliverance Program is a bi-monthly program. 
by God's grace, next month we, we will be having another children's deliverance program. God bless you as you join us in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you. Children of God, we are still in the month of May. Uh, close your eyes and just pray. Tell God that, Lord, if this is my request, or these are my requests, if it's more than one, that, Lord, I'm pleading, have mercy on me. Do this for me. Before the end of this month, I want to come back as well to testify to your goodness. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ancient of this, we thank you. I am that I am, we thank you. The creator of all things, we thank you. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, we thank you. Covenant keeping God, we thank you. The one that never sleeps, never stumbles, we thank you. The authority at the beginning, we thank you. The unchangeable, unchangeable changer, we thank you. The God that is unquestionable, we thank you. God of mercy, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for what you've been doing in our lives. We thank you for the beginning of today's service, and we thank you for how far you have us. We thank you for what you've done in our lives in this service. Be that exalted in the name of Jesus. Children of God, I pray for you and I pray for myself. As you are said unto his yes, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Before the end of next week, God will arise in his mercy and surprise us in the name of Jesus. He will do that which only you can do in the name of Jesus. That letter of joy that you've been waiting for before the end of this week, mercy will speak for you in the name of Jesus. Mercy will speak for us in the name of Jesus. God will arise and send us help and help us in the name of Jesus. I pray for this commission. Lord, let it be continue to wait with this commission in the name of Jesus. Expand this commission in the name of Jesus. Those that must be wasted for the glory of this commission to expand. Oh, God, arise, wasted in the name of Jesus. Angels of the Lord, arise and announce this ministry in the name of Jesus. Lord, yourself, advertise this commission in the name of Jesus. Lord, continue to connect this ministry to the throne of grace in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for all our children. It shall be well with them in the name of Jesus. We shall not bury any one of them in the name of Jesus. We decree in unity and one accord that when we cause some, when they cause somebody, millions will answer them in the name of Jesus. They shall fulfill their destinies. They shall fulfill their purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. Among their contemporaries, among their mates, they shall excel in the name of Jesus. We cover all of them with the blood of Jesus. Lord, we pray for our Father in the Lord and his household. Lord, let it continue to be well with him in the name of Jesus. Continue to lay your hands on mercy and grace upon him in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that one testimony, one breakthrough, that we advertise your goodness in his life. Lord, let him, let him experience it this one in the name of Jesus. Raise him up and help us in the name of Jesus. Children of God, I pray for you and I pray for myself. As we come back here next week Sunday, we are coming back with a comment of praise in the name of Jesus. Lord, concerning the whole world, let there be peace in the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy upon the whole world in the mighty name of Jesus. And every one of us, add, Lord, plant your fear in our lives in the name of Jesus. Unto you be all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God, goodness, and mercy have followed us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and never. Amen. Amen. Let us declare our Psalm 91 verse 1. I that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of Almighty. Third time, let us include every member of this commission, our wives, our house, children, and all our loved ones, all those connected online that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. Amen.
Amen. In Jesus' name, let us shout seven. Hallelujah unto our God. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you.